As a new day begins, metal detection expert Gary Drayton, along with Peter Fernetti and Jack Begley, begins searching for new clues at the area known as Isaac's Point, located on the eastern side of the island. Well, I fancy going out to the point and doing around the bluffs. I've had a couple of big storms here. There might be some erosion down that side. And it might have pulled stuff away? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Gotcha. All right, now let's go. One of the first things I was told when I walked onto the island was that there'd been a couple of bad storms and there'd been some beach erosion. That makes your toes tingle because when the banks were eroded, anything that was in those banks is now on the beach. I'm getting a signal here. Nah, it's jumpy, but it's hard to tell. Once you start putting these search coils at an angle, mm -hmm. you know, it's, you get wonky readings. Might be out, it just might be surface junk. I hope not. Don't keep us in suspense. Oh, it's part of a coin? Wow, it's a cut coin. I bet you this is a cut Maravedi. Oh, this is great. You see the angle on both sides there? That was cut on purpose. For making change, right? Yeah, making change. Often deemed the first coins of the New World, the Maravedi was a Spanish-made copper coin that was primarily used by explorers who came to the Americas during the 17th and 18th centuries. They were also often used by pirates of various nationalities as payment for crew members and were commonly cut into pieces when it was necessary to make change or make an advance on a purchase. It was a 17th century Spanish Maravedi that was found in the Oak Island Swamp nearly four years ago. Could finding another one add even more fuel to the notion that pirates had frequented the island more than a century before it was used as a campsite by the British military? Definitely have to have this cleaned up. Yeah. Do you think we should call my uncles? Yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. We've actually found something that'll blow them away. Hello? Hello, Rick. Yeah, Gary. We have got some good news. Of the surface finds we've had, the Maravedis have proven to be the oldest coins we've found, and they're the best information that someone was here back in the mid to late 1600s. You're gonna love this, Rick. All right, what you got? Well, you're always telling me to find stuff. Yes. And this time, we found stuff. What do you got? Um, Let's see. This didn't even make the pouch. This is a top pocket find. And you think that is? That is a cut Maravedi. And that's an oldie. All right, when you this say is... old, what do you mean? I've got no doubt that's 1700s, might even be in 16s. And look at the way it's been cut. You can see it's been basically yeah, chiseled it, off. Yeah, it looks like it was done intentionally, that's for sure. I agree with you. That isn't worn away, that's cut. Yeah. We need to do some research on that when they quit cutting coins. Yeah. And the reason why this is in such good condition is because it was in the soil. It's had no contact with salt water. We might get lucky. This might be the part with the date on the it. The date on it. Yeah. Gold would be great, and it's always exciting, but the date mm. is super significant. Oh, yeah. No doubt this is old. I mean, there was these. Maravedis were copper. Then you had silver reals. Right. And then gold escudos. So maybe we're working the yeah, way yeah. up slowly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gary being turned loose and finding stuff right away underscores the importance of doing this metal detecting. If he can go out there and find this stuff, reasonably quickly, then there's probably a lot of it. We've got to get that cleaned and tested. Yeah. That's fantastic. But still no gold dance, eh? No, no gold dance, but that had That's me true. wiggling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Keep going. Oh, yeah, we've only just you begun. Any... Yeah, Gary, all right. <laughs>